welcome back to SnowRunner, guys. And in this video, we're actually going to be taking a look not only at a truck that we haven't really uh, revisited in a long time, but we're going to be taking a look at a trailer pack that was recently updated on consoles and has some interesting functionality that we haven't really seen in basically since the Mudrunner days. Now, the truck that we are going to be using primarily in this video to demonstrate these features, or at least the features of this particular trailer pack, is the MAZ6517, and it is from Yansor's console-friendly MAZ pack, which is what this trailer pack is designed to be used in conjunction with. Now, of course, I will link to them both in the description box below, but do be warned that really the ones that we're touching on here are going to be intended for console use, right? Intended for console use. So this particular truck, right? This particular truck, there is a console-friendly version of it. This isn't exactly the console-friendly version since I'm using it on a PC, but he did do a separate console pack where the PC files were removed and we are showing this version here on PC. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go into the garage and show you guys what the base setup on this truck is. And then we're gonna go outside the garage and show you guys the packable trailer, which is really, really cool. So let's go inside the garage now, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the setup on this truck. The actual setup itself is pretty much already done, but the setup we're running is the TMZ 8424-10 engine, um, 425 horsepower, definitely a lot more torque than that. And the advanced special gearbox, stock suspension, because you really only get one option. And we're actually using the standard tires that come on this thing. Although you can opt for a 53-inch set, but I've decided to stay with the wider 51-inch um, set. So you can also go with the advanced medium. That's the decision I decided to make here. And engageable diff lock, you definitely want that. And of course, I've got the appropriate spare as well as the tall mushroom snorkel. The one that I decided to go with is the log carrier front. And we also have a different front log carrier. This one is for the medium logs platform, and this one is for the long logs platform, as you guys will see a little bit later on. Now, let's go ahead and do just a quick little bit of customization here. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And yeah, we're not really going to do anything in the back, are we? Yep, yeah, nope. Uh, and actually, the standard setup that we've got is pretty dang cool looking, actually. So let's see. Oh, front turn signals and small parking lights. I dig the parking lights, actually. The parking lights are pretty dang cool. And let's see. Fireproof exhaust. I'm good on that because it really, really, like, reduces your ground clearance in the front. Um, the standard wheels. And as far as color combinations go, I'll probably end up just doing something fairly straightforward. Maybe, like, a red. The red looks really good. And then we're going to, of course, go ahead and throw... Let's see. Where's Beans? There's Beans. All right, let's go and throw him in there, and we should be good to go. Now, let's go ahead and exit the garage and show you guys this trailer, because the trailer is the most important part of this video. The trailer is the most important part of this test, and the trailer is really what we're here to focus on today. So, let's go ahead and back up, get the truck oriented correctly. We got, of course, Beans right there on the dash, and this is not the one we are installing, although this is one of your options. The one we are installing is, where is it? Uh, right there. Now, this guy, as you may be well aware, definitely bears a resemblance to the packable log trailers from Mudrunner. And I'm about to do something that I haven't done in this game series in a really long time, and that is pack a trailer. And it doesn't just say, like, load. It legit says pack. Now, you have to wait a second... But once you wait a second for it to do its thing, it will actually pack correctly, and then you can drive around with your trailer fully packed. Now, it does give you a little bit of an odd weight balance, but that's something that's just to be expected with a packable setup like this. And your truck buck becomes a whole lot more maneuverable. It becomes a whole lot more maneuverable in terms of, like, taking it down tight trails, tight roads. You don't have to worry about making tight turns in it. But when you get to a loading zone, all you got to do is hit pack again. And the unpacking is a little bit less polished, and sometimes it doesn't always work exactly the way you would like it to, and it does take a minute to unpack, but eventually, eventually, especially if you drive forward, it really helps, eventually it does drop down into its desired position. So now, let's find long logs, load them up. And as you can see, these are like, these are properly long logs. These are not your standard, uh, your standard in-game long logs. These are very long. And so, you can understand why 
you wouldn't want to be driving around with this trailer unfolded as it was as it would just catch on things like the back of the trailer in particular would just catch on absolutely everything however this setup really does fit this truck very well and if you're looking for a new flavor of logging or if you're looking for something new to add to your game this truck and trailer combination will definitely be something that you should check out because really at the end of the day i think it will actually spice up logging a lot because not only is this truck capable and powerful but let's see what it does if we just like throw it right into the swamp low plus all-wheel drive end lockers on pretty confident already look at this I mean, threw it in at a big angle, too. Yeah, we threw it in there at a very tippy angle, right into the deep, thick mud. Does a really good job of getting itself out and getting the trailer through. Really impressive, actually. Very, very, very impressive job from this truck. Very impressive job. And look, it just lugs the logs right out of there. Right on out of there. Next test is going to be a bit of a big one, but let's see what she's got. Low plus, lockers on. All right, beans, in we go. You can see everything, too, because it's a cab over. But, ooh, I'm, I'm seeing some rocks on the inside and, like, well, a mud face on the outside. Even in low plus. It's just, like, absolutely sending them. Absolutely sending them, dude. That's really impressive. That is very, very impressive. And once again, if you're looking for a heavily capable cab over to add to your logging lineup, this one... Really, really good stuff. Definitely recommend it. Now, let's actually change the weather real quick because, as you guys all know, I'm not particularly a fan of, like, that, you know, kind of gloomy, rainy, uh, uh, just sort of environment type. So now we're going to head down this muddy side trail. See how it does here because this will really put a truck to the test, especially if it's something with a trailer behind it, particularly a fully loaded trailer. Come on. Come on, there we go. There you go. Working the wheel definitely helps you get a little bit of traction up front. A little bit of extra traction that may or may not be available to you. Thankfully, it's available in this instance. There we go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, right over that, right over that fallen tree. Completely crushed it, actually. Yo, low plus actually works in here. It doesn't spin and dig. I mean, it digs a little bit, but not enough to where it's a problem. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it's doing this with a fully loaded trailer um, and a packable one at that with logs like that long and that heavy, mad props. And it's actually got a really well-balanced center of gravity. I mean, I've taken it through some pretty gnarly, like, uh, like angles, right? Like lean angles, and it really keeps itself upright very well very very well i know i'm kind of like bypassing the mud right there but i know it can do that mud section and so i'm not really worried about testing whether or not it can but we'll definitely make our way back into the mud in just a moment yeah that thing really it just rips and honestly with the way this truck's designed i didn't really figure that it would have this this good of a center of gravity or this this well of a managed center of gravity because it's got some tall tires on it. I mean, I know I don't have the tallest tires that we have as an option. We have 51s, not 53s, but still the 51s pull their weight really, really well and they handle themselves in the wilderness really, really well, but they're also not top heavy on this thing. And that's a really, really, really good point. Whoa, and she's over. Found the limit. Definitely found the limit there. Definitely found the limit. And unfortunately, we don't have a crane at this point, so we can't really pack up that other log. Oh, man, the other one's falling off as well. Oh, no. We're going to have to pack it up again. But that's actually good because that's good because it's actually going to give us an opportunity to try to pack it uh, out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the wilderness. Now that we've almost completely lost that other log, we're about to be ready to pack this thing again. And let's just make sure we're in line with it, because if you're not in line, it doesn't like to pack. All right, let's see if it'll pack right here. Pack it. Here it comes. Did a better job than I thought it would. I mean, as long as you're lined up, it'll go right into the center of the holder right there, and it's good to go. It's good to go. Well and done. Now, one thing that I will recommend avoiding in this truck 
is uh, quick direction changes with the trailer packed because if you do that, well, you're asking for a one-way ticket to Flipville. Diesel Addict lives there. Uh, say hi to him while you're there for me. But let's go ahead and head back out onto the... Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Let's see how it does through the dips obstacle with the trailer packed. That'll be a very, very interesting test. Whoop. Whoa, okay. I saw the rear wheels coming up off the ground when we made that turn. That should show you already how tippy it is with the trailer packed. Dude, it already wants to go over. Oh, no. Oh, God. That trailer is not solidly packed. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's leaning to one side. Oh, it wants to flip us so bad. Dude, it wants to flip us so freaking bad. Come on. Trying to, like, not let it flip us that way, but it it may have other ideas in mind. It may very well have other ideas in mind. And as you can see, it does kind of flop around sometimes and vibrate a little bit, and it's not exactly, once again, the most secure thing in the universe, but, hey, it's here, and for a mod... This is incredibly well done still. I mean, I know it's like leaning off to the side and everything right now, but again, for a mod, it is incredibly well done and incredibly well put together. All right, so now we only really have one more test to run it through, and that is the bridge jump while packed. Now, it's not packed in the middle, but it's packed enough. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I said don't worry about it. All right, off to the jump we go. Now, it... Wow, it really is just pointing way out to the left, isn't it? Oh, man. I really need to be really careful on cornering now. Turning like this is going to really pull me off balance. Although, I am surprised at how quick uh, this thing is in high. It's pretty dang fast, actually. Like, at the end of the day, it's faster in high than I would have expected it to be. Especially with a packed-up trailer. All right, Beans. You ready, bud? Here we go. Up over the top. There's sixth gear, neutral. Sending it. Yeah, yeet. Oh God. Whoa. So actually, just momentarily, the trailer returned to its resting position in that center holder. And then when we landed, it bounced right out to the other side again. The opposite side this time. The right side. So, if you're interested in a packable trailer setup, I definitely recommend checking this thing out. The trailer pack is updated and available on consoles. And with that being said, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Hit that like button if you did enjoy. And also subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.